New tonight, when world leaders meet, they often have an expert team making sure no faux pas are committed or customs overlooked. For President Barack Obama, that person was Capricia Penovic Marshall, a Cleveland native who also worked for the Clinton administration. She's sharing those incredible experiences in a new book. Here's your front row look. Whether it was greeting a motorcade or, or at Andrews Air Force Base to extend my hand and to say on behalf of President Obama, welcome to the United States of America. It just always gave me a little shiver. In her roles as chief of protocol for President Barack Obama and social secretary to President Bill Clinton and First Lady Hillary Clinton, Capricia Penovic Marshall not only had a front row seat to history, she made it run smoothly. It was an honored privilege of mine uh, to have worked for uh, two presidents at very different times it was just uh, nothing less than extraordinary. But her appreciation for culture and customs began with her childhood in Cleveland. I learned at a very young age, uh, growing up in, a, in my home in East Derbyshire, my grandmother's house in Cleveland Heights, Ohio, where um, you know, many languages were spoken, uh, all different types of food was served. I'm half Mexican and half Croatian. Uh, so lots of cultures and traditions were, were observed. So what I'm hopeful is that people appreciate the cultural differences of one, one another, that by shining a bright light on these beautiful differences, we will get along better. Her expertise may be rooted in the world of politics and diplomacy, but Marshall says those lessons can be applied to everyday life. It's those micro moves, it's the little details, the nuances that when they, are, when they all add up, they have a major impact. It's that belief that inspired Marshall to write her new book, Protocol, The Power of Diplomacy and How to Make It Work for You. It was so clear to me that people were having a super hard time making critical connections. Tools, she says, that are more important than ever. When you need to make that immediate connection, how do you go about doing that? And in particular, in these days of Zoom and virtual meetings, how do you do that? I think that's probably going to be book two for me. <laughs> Speaking of Zoom, Marshall spent some time on the platform recently, catching up with the woman she calls her mentor. Well, I've had now two wonderful Zoom engagements with uh, Secretary Clinton. She's read it cover to cover. Um, she started asking me questions about it, and uh, she was wonderful to allow me to interview her. She's been unbelievably supportive throughout the entire process. And even though she's rubbed shoulders with some of the world's most impressive leaders, it's clear Marshall is still a Clevelander at heart. I love going back home. I'll always consider Cleveland uh, my home. Cleveland rocks. It really rocks. <laughs> Cleveland rocks. She's really <laughs> led a super exciting life, Jimmy. And, you know, during that Zoom interview, she talked about connecting with people and how relationships are so important. That's all I kept thinking about. It really is true. She's using her story, but applying it to everyday life. You know, uh, I am so fascinated by people that work in that environment, mm -hmm. like a national perspective or in the White House. And I'll tell you what, Laura, you got me on that one. I'm going to buy that book. I want to read that book. <laughs> I did my job. No, no. She's just a great person. I'm excited <laughs> for that. Jim, thanks so much. And